I just wanted to say it's awesome news that you gave us about going beyond the fifth world and just unbelievable. And thank you so much, Master. Ah, you're welcome. How do you say you're welcome in Afrikaans? Yes, welcome. Okay, start home. Okay. Imagine we can understand each other, huh? There's so many languages here not to talk about in other countries, huh? Yeah, that's good. And we're happy with each other, yeah. <laughs> and it's been an awesome retreat, Master. Every night from the, the first time you spoke to us until even tonight, you've answered so many questions inside. Like every single question I had for the yeah. last two years inside, you've answered the first night you answered almost 90% of all of them. Gee, and gee. then the second night you answered even beyond. Beyond 100%. More oh, wow. <laughs> That's a bonus, hey? Good yeah. for business. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Master, just being in your presence, like, I mean, every time I see you, you just, you just become more and more and more and more powerful and loving and compassionate. Yeah? And, yeah. yeah. Powerful, no? And, and Master, what really, really, really touches my heart so deeply is that you're so tolerant with us and you're so forgiving and so you still give us so much invisible love on a, on a vibrational love yeah. that that words don't even do justice for us to be able to explain to you how grateful we are to you master mm. and for everything you've done for us it's okay no problem as long as you <laughs> as long as you sincerely practice do your best okay and i'll be happy yeah that's Thank why you, you always come because you can't find any happiness no. with your boyfriend always come here yeah. <laughs> Master, you are my one true love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, but even another boyfriend would be better, right? Have master, but boyfriend would be better, right? <laughs> it's no good on that boyfriend business, no. okay? You stay alone and you will see how happy if you last longer. Yeah. Longer than two years, then you feel happier. If you are busy, yeah? doing something at least for yourself or something also meaningful, yeah? Then you will not uh, even think of no. even uh, the most handsome man coming in front of you, you don't even see it. Yeah. You don't feel anything. Even if you do, you would know I uh, just a fleeting kind of uh, chemical reaction yes. or um, habits, you know? It's just, but you must keep yourself in good company and work, okay? Yes, Master. Yeah, because if you stay alone, you feel lonely and then you just want a company. Not really a boyfriend, you just want somebody to be around, talking to, or helping you do some nailing. I do all my nailing myself. <laughs> yeah, just now even. I have to fix my place. Yeah, I have to hang curtain to keep it warmer, yeah? And nail something to secure my door, stuff like that, yeah? The door of the stage, the door of the floor, you know? Not my door, I don't have any door. It's just if you go to the roof, there are some doors, you know? <laughs> door from the second or other floor, I, I have to secure it. I did it all myself. Busy yourself, make yourself just like handyman even, yeah? Yeah, busy yourself or read books, yeah? Read important spiritual books. Yes, master. And uh, go outside, volunteer with some, but that's also dangerous, because because <laughs> <laughs> for for other men, I mean, not for you, but <laughs> for the fleeting kind of boyfriend. Energy spent on physical pleasure is very precious. It depletes you truly. You must save it as much as you can, so that you can go further, because you have only so much energy and fuel. If you dispense it all on the way, then of course you will delay your journey or uh, stay in one low level. Hmm? Yes, that's, Master. Yeah, that's why even St. Peter say, best is to stay single. But really, if you cannot, then get married, get married, yeah. Yeah, I don't mean you, I mean, some people say that to, to other people, to his disciple followers, yeah? Most uh, masters, they, they married before they became master, yeah? 
And after they even marriage, they understand that uh, physical contact, pleasure are not helpful to your spiritual elevation. Definitely not. It's not a joke. It's not that like uh, I'm wagging finger at you, like I'm better than you, nothing. This is just a fact like that. Okay? So cool down, chill out, meditate, do good. Do some volunteer job with our group. Yeah, do something good with your precious life. Okay? And time. Thank you, Master. Just cut off this kind of boyfriend stuff in your mind. Just determine that you don't want it. Then it will not happen. But if you're always lingering and thinking, oh, what, who is the next, you know, and keep looking, of course you will find one. Yeah, and then you waste your time in tears, in quarrel, or in adjusting and in dispensing energy. There's nothing really good about that, truly like that, okay? Not that I forbid you or anything, but anyone who really wants to go high must downsize his uh, physical contact with the other sex. Understand that? Mm. Uh, the energy you spend in, in sexual uh, activities is really harmful to you. Not just the body, but spiritual, emotion, mental, psychological, psychic as well. Mm, psychic, everything. You're just spending and spending and spending. F your energy is just wasting, flowing out, mm? instead of conserving, yeah? I teach you to do Kuan Yin because you return it inward also, not just because here in the higher dimension, the Word of God, but also return back to your energy, okay? Through, through the Kuan Yin activity, yeah? That's why most people, when they meditate, they put their legs together and the palm together somewhere, okay? Yes. Even in a magic school, yeah, they also tell you that. That if you talk to somebody, you better cross your legs together. Maybe you cannot do the lotus, because it's too obvious when you do deal with a business, but at least you cross it together under there and then make sure your hand also not to out open. Because in case that person has bad energy, it will just flow into you. And you are dispensing by uh, leaving yourself open and vulnerable. Right? Your legs open, your arms open, and then you talk as well, and your ear open to listen. Your eyes have to look at that person. The more close, the better. Hmm? Even in magic school, they teach you that. So this uh, physical contact with other gender, you know, opposite gender, is really an outflow of a lot of energy. You concentrate your all on that act, yeah? Or you will feel frustrated and not satisfied. And when you concentrate your all on that, then you are just here. You're just in that act. You are just in the physical dimension. At least for that moment or that time you spend with your physical partner, you leave heaven. You left your true self. You forget higher dimension. And we don't have a lot of time. We have too little time already for spending on work, on shopping, cooking, dressing, uh, driving, all kinds of things already. And we have only like one and a half hour, two hours to meditate already, if you have. Yeah? And then extra on that, you spend more energy. The physical pleasure costs a lot of energy, more than any other activities. Because you concentrate your all, you give your all in that moment. And it's a waste of a lot of precious energy. Hmm? Not to talk about there at that moment, you are just right there, you're nowhere else higher, okay? Just in a lower dimension, lower level, lower chakra, huh? And you want to go high here, you don't go low down. Hmm?